um, carry out everything, leadership schools, test papers, retreat trainings, you know, and thanks to all this, I became like like this eager, like I am now. Hello, dear church. Of course, I want to say plenty of words of gratitude to everyone, because I know that each person whom we meet is influence on us, and ev everyone is image of me. Every person whom I met invested something, in, put something into me. And first of all, I would like to give my credit to my own parents. They are people who gave me birth, gave us birth, and without them, I, we wouldn't be standing here on this stage. Thank you. And also, I would like to to thank all my relatives, grandparents who brought us up to, because they they made a great investment into our lives, and without their help, we wouldn't be the men we are now. And I also to thank Pastor, Pastor Lena Shevchenko. Unfortunately, she's absent because she she changed my life radically because she was the first person whom I got acquainted in the secular world, and she transformed my life. I would like to thank my pastor, Pastor Cormel Alexander. Yeah, everything uh, we heard here, uh, you know, the leader, the leader is the one who stops own progress for the sake of you that you will develop, you know. He's the one, like this. You know, Pastor Corman, Alexander Corman, sorry for tears, uh, is a person during three years stopped his own progress, his own development, and every day he dedicated his life in, to me. Pastor, I'm really deeply grateful to you. Is he here now? And, and indeed, everything I have in me now is the image of what this person invested into me. And also the second person, Pastor Sandy, I bow down before you. You know, at the first at the first day evening service, when I was watching at this person, You know, God opened to me that this person is genius. He is a prodigy. He alone, he being just uh, the one, he changes, he transforms, shifts the, the world. Pastor, it's a great honor to us, really very great, enormous. And, you know, Pastor mentioned that there is some jealous spirit. I, I would like to appeal to you, don't be deceived. And if Pastor invited us to make engagement here, it's not just for your jealousy, because, just because he wants we to display our love, which is not in words, but in actions. And if pastor trusts us, it's only because he knows that this person is ready and potentially can reach high, high borders. Pastor, I'm really very great, grateful to you. You're eminent, prominent person for me. And thank you that you took responsibility for to, and you decided to die for yourself and invest your, yourself into people and bring fruits because the fruits are more important, you know.
I would like to read you a short extract. Uh, this letter was written by Alona three days ago. She's our here today, beautiful one. I want that Helen. Yeah, I want that Helen, a future prime minister of Ukraine, I believe. I'm sure she will become a prime minister. I want to, uh, to ask her to read the letter. Dear Pastor, I thank you for these, today's word. It's a challenge for me. And I understand that everyone who heard this word has a choice just to, be, to live in reality or transform life. And I was observing you and understood that once I have, I have heard this preaching, I understood how genius personality you are, a personality who, who made ev of the whole nation do something, a personality who raised new genophone, new nation, calling your, you my pastor. You know, I mean that it's an honor to be beside you. And you cannot be passive beside you, you know. And being beside you, I didn't just feel emotions, but I felt struggle inside of me because I felt the challenge which you gave to everyone. A challenge defy who heard not everyone, but those who have ears will, will hear you. I accept this defy and challenge. Every time I look at you, I understand that there is no other way. I don't want to live another life. I don't want to live ordinary life means it's similar to death, you know. You know, it doesn't matter for me who criticizes you or persecutes you or says something terrible about you. I decided myself that I will dedicate my life to you. I understand that I need to prove my words by actions, but I know that there is no way back. I bow my knees down before you for your labor, for your love, for your purposefulness. And through your persecutions and tor tortures, God reveals his glory and power. May God fool you abundantly with love to you, Alona. Do you see which decisions, which decisions a young girl made? And she has an engagement the day after tomorrow. You know, she doesn't live by the day alone. She is pondering over the words she heard at the services yesterday and before the day before yesterday. And you know, some of us even forgot the words we heard uh, at the services before. But she has a lot of things to do. She's very busy, but she always meditating on the word. And she always knows about the decision. No one wrote me any word about the decisions, but she did it. Only she alone, she is the only one who wrote me a letter about the decision she made at this conference. I'm very proud of Igor. If the whole world does not believe in you, there is only one person who will always trust in you. It is me. You have great future, and uh, you will succeed. I know, I'm sure. Uh, is she your grandma? Yeah, I will be crying this way. <laughs> Don't give me a mic. Dears, I will just take a, a small take of your time. You know, I don't know how to the small southern city of the Crimea Kerch, there was a book who came just unexpectedly to us. And I read it, and I came to my spiritual mentor. Uh, she became a believer, too, that time. I just want to thank my Lord for our 
spiritual parents and mentors. You know, I was worrying so much for him that he will leave this small city and will go to Kiev and serve God. You know, I, I worried, so I was concerned about it. And, you know, I... I read the book about the lion and the spirit of lion by Pastor Sandy. And when I read it, you know, despite the fact that uh, he's from Nigeria, and I said to my friend, you know, uh, after reading this book, there is a stamp. You, do you see the stamp and the address? Uh, it is a, a former past address, you know, it was on the China Street. And then, thanks to this address, we were searching for the building where you uh, were holding your services that time, you know. So we found this building, and, you know, we took... Uh, we took br small brochures, and you know, thank, thanks to these br small, uh, tiny brochures, uh, a great personality was established. What's your name? My name is Olga. My name is not Alona. Okay, I see. Uh, I saw you once or twice. So uh, I'm not so bright like my daughter, you know. I'm standing on the stage second time, and thanks to my children, first time, we were at the blessing of Sophia, my daughter. Um, my daughter was born two years ago, and Pastor Bosi was blessing us two years ago. And then I'm standing the second time now. My first daughter is standing now for engagement, and every day I thank God. Every day I thank God for my children. I'm so grateful to him that I'm, my children are taught by a good father. Do you see another example? Olga himself raised a child alone. Don't give up. Those who, ha who have the same destiny, don't give up. If you mean that you, have don't, you don't have a father, everything failed. No, Jesus is for you. Jesus will exchange your husband. So every day I thank God for my children that he found me, first of all, and through my prayers and fasts and book, which Alona read. Uh, it is called Moved by in Eternity by John Beaver. And thanks to this book, Alona came to Jesus and received Jesus. And so now we have fruits, a lot of fruits. Everything we have in our home now, uh, everything brings fruits to Jesus. All glory be to God is for this. I'm really very happy. I'm, I cannot even tell you how much I'm happy now. I'm rejoicing. I'm rejoicing this. I was praying for this. I'm really happy for my daughter. Yeah, oh, sure, surely I underwent a very hard way. I I had a bad life before, and I had a sinful life, you know, before. And thanks God that we are standing here at this place. And thanks God for Sophia, who was uh, newborn and born in, 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 in God. And now she sees moral way of life. She sees good values, godly values. And I believe that she will be raised in, in good uh, atmosphere and family. Pastor, I can't understand you. <laughs> Sorry. So God gave me another chance. Yes, it's true. You know, as I have noticed, God gives not even second chance. God gives you plenty of chances. When you come to him with tears and bow down before him, and, you know, God's mercy is, you know, is enormous. A, a human being can't give so much a mercy, you know, comparing with God. It's the glory of God, you know. You know, and no one believes that I have a small kid, you know. And when guests come to us, 
And my small two-year-old kid always says, dismiss with peace and never be fear if you are with God. <laughs> It's my kid, two-year-old kid, who says this, imagine. So a grandma will be crying, she says, you know, but uh, mm, now let's start engagement. Are you happy, dears? Yes, well. Do you feel that uh, perspective uh, in the relation to you? Yes, we do. Uh, it's not, a, a, you know, a, a unity which you make now for yourself, you know. Thank you for PR you give to us today. This all, you know, makes us give all we have to the glory of God and to the de development and to the spread of, of the kingdom of God. Now stretch your hands, God in the name of Jesus. You are the Lord of eternity. And I proclaim eternal blessing, eternal eternal grace into this alliance of Alona and Igor. And of course, it's you who united them. I want you to honor them and allow that and may this alliance bring millions of new bones. May they become your true sons and may they not pity anything and give everything they have to you. By the name of Jesus, through this alliance, may they promote the godly principles and may millions of people be blessed through them. May thousands of people transform their lives through them and may the joy of this couple will never end. All glory be to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And let's say together, Amen. Happy engagement. Congrats to you. We congratulate Igor and Alona. Give your claps to them. Give applauses to them. And now we have another important moment, not even less important. Let's invite our pastors for a lack of time. Come on. So, good evening, dear church. Hello, dear Pastor Bosi, Pastor Sande. We, we want to congratulate you with this anniversary, and we would like to uh, testify. Let's put Jenya onto the pulpit. Do you see Jenya very well? Come here, please. Come, come to me. I would like to testify about the glory of God. You know, I came to Jesus at the state when no one could help me. You know, my life was full of dirty deeds. I could do whatever I I do whatever I could, and it, all of this was sinful. I, I was a robber, I was drug addict, I abused tobacco and so on. I will help you now. When did you come to the church? In 
In 2001, Alek became a newborn in this church. We invited him to the home group. After this, after he attended the home group, um, uh, the tape recorder disappeared from the house. He robbed it. And uh, then he disappeared together with this tape recorder for eight years. And for this time, he uh, used uh, heavy drugs, and he was convicted three times. Every time I tried my best to start new life but, and to drop everything bad, but I didn't change my surrounding. That's why I couldn't drop everything bad. You know, everything was so, so bad that um, I couldn't continue. Um, holding this life. And when I became totally sick, uh, you know, half of my body was paralyzed. After this period of time, I always called Alek and, uh, and I was asking him, is, was he going to attend the church again? He was perishing, and half of, this, of his body was paralyzed. He was like a laying, a laying uh, scalp, you know. Uh, he was going to uh, to go to the grave, you know. It was the most important moment, crucial moment of my life when I was laying in the hospital and I was calculating the last days of my life. I appealed to God and, uh, you know, I, I remember the words from the Bible, appeal to me and I will help you, you know, and I understood that uh, I, I need to appeal, and I did it, and uh, honor, God honored me. And I, I called to my old friend, and I said, I'm perishing. I can't do anything. I'm just counting my last days. And I was, I was, I became a newborn at that very time. I repeated the words of repentance prayer. And that very time, I, I became healed, and MRT filmed x-ray films uh, you know before were very bad and the, the, the one doctor uh, looked at them and said you know everything is bad but second time when after the healing uh, we made x-ray films the doctors were shocked after a month my hand started to work I became totally completely restored it was wonderful it was another miracle of God which which I saw myself and which God revealed from me and God continues revealing his glory through me. And you know, if before I only think how I only thought how to rob or deceive some someone, now I plan how to hold preventional lectures at schools and I plan to become a pastor in future. And I also I'm a graduate of biblical school. And I also deal with uh, different uh, administrations of the city, and I, I do my best to serve God. You know, if, if, if uh, shortly before no one allow me enter even a building, now I'm welcome everywhere at schools, and I serve God. I'm leader of ushers. I'm a member of home group. I'm in chaplain ministry in the church. God gives me new vision, new ideas, and I have now a new revelation to start in my city a ministry of evangelization. And we decided that after anniversary we start serving in this ministry. I'm so grateful to God that I'm standing before you today. Pastor Sad, I'm so grateful to you for your system, for your teachings, because the system which is in this church, it, it teaches us, motivates us, moves us, propels us. I'm really grateful to my pastor, my leader. I'm really grateful for all people who invested their souls into me. You know, before they thought that uh, I'm like a fraudster, you know, another, 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 you know, 
trick of mine. Uh, let's glorify the Lord for this testimony because our God makes miracles. I have truly seen him. He was paralyzed. He couldn't walk. And he was counting the days until his death. But when he called the leader of our home group and uh, they started attending him, they were asking me, Pastor, what, what shall we tell him? There is nothing we could, there is no way we could encourage him. Even if he repents and God takes him away, uh, that's probably the only thing that can happen to him. Because when we were looking at him, when, when he was lying down, it was impossible to believe that he would ever raise up again. But uh, I, I told them that uh, he, he should start reading the Bible, he should start uh, reading the books, and this is the only way. And you see, God is miraculous God. Uh, come here to the front, otherwise you are not seen. This is another miracle. This is a miracle that happened in our city because I know Zhenya from the time that um, he was attending school and we were running prevention ministry. He was interested in, in what we were doing, but, but not in a good way. He was kind of trying to find flaws or uh, some some bad things or he was trying to mock to tease us really he had a very a problematic reputation or very negative reputation uh, even a policeman were afraid of him because if he started a fight or something he would um, do it up until the end he was very radical he could, for instance, um, uh, take a bottle and um, go to the policeman and say, you know, I'll, I'll beat you right now, um, no matter at, at what cost. So um, there was a town in the city, there was noise in the city because of him, but now there is a different noise about him, that he has repented and he has a new life. And people want to meet him to see what, how his life has been changed. Just to meet him and just to um, communicate, to interact with, with him. Because no one could believe that a person could uh, change so radically. He used to take drugs, he used to drink, he used to smoke, but now he has been studying in Joshua Bible School. Yesterday he told you about that, but, uh, but still, uh, I would repeat that he has a dream, he had a dream when he was in the world to, to be imprisoned. Can you imagine that was a dream? So, and he was uh, looking for a pre precedent. He was um, looking for, for something that he would be imprisoned for. Today he has a different dream. He goes to the jails, but now uh, not as a prisoner, but as a preacher, as a kapelan. As chaplain. You know that the kingdom of God is not somewhere outside, but it is inside of us. And when we are showing this kingdom, when we are re revealing, when we are showing the miracles, then people can really see God, and they have no need to seek for a kingdom anywhere else. God has turned this crime, a criminal, into a faithful believer and Christian. And this is a true miracle. And let us praise God for him and for his story. Jenny, tell us a few words. I want to add to um, everything that was said. Uh, to say that I was fornicator and with, together with my partner, partner Oleg, we were robbing people. But today we have been studying in Joshua Bible School. And by the way, today we have sale, well, we have um, discounts for registration in, in, in Joshua Bible School. So if you register, we, I welcome you to register today for the next academic year. 
But as for me, coming back to my story, um, God has been doing the miraculous things in my life. I have started helping children, and um, I'm also very blessed by that, but I need helpers. So please, if you have in your heart to, uh, to serve, to minister to children, please join me. And Pastor, I want to declare from this stage that in a year I want to, um, to, to be ordained as pastor, because yesterday I was ordained as minister, but I really want to bring more fruit, more results.